News, putting North Dakota first. Welcome back. It doesn't have to be October to bring awareness to breast cancer. Our Malik Wilson introduces us to a Minot woman who is using the anniversary of beating breast cancer to help others do the same. Well, it's interesting if you're going to have breast cancer, have it during COVID, right? Around this time last year, Kay Watson was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer. There's always that initial shock. And I think I did what probably every woman would do. I cried. <laughs> and then you just have to pick yourself up and go through the steps. Watson says catching the cancer early meant she only had to have 10 or so procedures before becoming cancer free. But it still wasn't easy. It's a tough journey. I won't lie about that. But it's also an affirming journey because um, it's events like this that allow someone like me to um, be able to look forward to life. Which brings us to today. Watson, being a part of the Minot Curling Club, decided she'd do something to help other women who are still putting up a fight against breast cancer by hosting her first ever curling for the cure. What I found in going through this process is, you know, you have your, your medical bills and the insurance pays what they pay, but there's so many other expenses. Um, sometimes women can't get back and forth to the doctor. Sometimes they need to come, you know, either go to Minot or Bismarck to stay overnight, and so this is what this event is about. The event raises money through teaching women of all ages in the community how to curl. And while most of the women in attendance were there for fun and support, to others it meant a little more. My daughter had uh, cancer when she was 18 years old, and I've had many good friends that have had cancer, and some have passed, uh, sad to say. Um, but it's just, in general, uh, so many people have uh, had cancer, or we know of somebody that has cancer, and it's just dear to my heart. Watson says all of the proceeds will be kept within the Minot community. And as for the future of the Curling for the Cure event... Oh my goodness, if it turns out, and we believe it will, um, why not do it again? Reporting for KX News and Minot, Malik Wilson. Watson says if you or someone you know is battling breast cancer or recovering, to contact her directly. Her information can be found on our website. That's kxnet.com. Stay tuned.